Look at this. That is so sick. Scorpions are the oldest known group of arachnids on the planet, even more ancient than their cousins, the spiders. All modern scorpions possess a chitinous exoskeleton, pincher-like pedipalps, and a stinger apparatus called the telson. Most scorpions are found in deserts or the tropics, but a select few, like the species we're searching for today, can be found in more temperate regions, oftentimes hiding beneath cover objects. Oh! What's that? Yo, is this an anole? That is a whack anole. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Whoa. Okay, y'all. This is not the bark scorpion that we are looking for, but it is a really cool animal. This is actually a green anole. Green anoles are a native species of lizard here in the southeastern U.S., and they do get their name from their coloration. But you can see, as I hold it in my hand and it heats up, it is literally changing its color before our eyes. That is incredible. When I first caught this, you saw in my hand, it was a brown color, and I actually remarked about how weird it was to find an anole with that phenotype, but it was just color flushing because it was so cold. As my body heat is heating it up, it is literally changing its color. Now, how they do that is actually pretty crazy. They have what's called chromatophores, which are color changing cells in each of their individual scales. Those chromatophores allow them to adjust their color based on temperature, based on mood, and during the breeding season, the males will often take on a very, very vibrant shade of green. That is a really, really cool lizard. I have never flipped an anole under a rock like that before, but today we're not searching for lizards. We're actually searching for an animal that this anole might eat. Hold up. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, guys, look at this. That is so sick. Look at that little scorpion, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna let her decide whether or not she crawls off of this clod, but hopefully you can see her right there. There she goes. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is the Southern Devil Scorpion. What an amazing little animal. Now I know, right now you're probably thinking, come on man, that's gotta be a baby, right? Well, no. This is actually a fully grown adult devil scorpion. This is as big as they get. These southern devil scorpions are pretty much the only scorpions that we get here in the southeastern U.S. Now this is a very shy, very cryptic animal. In fact, they are fully nocturnal. Very rarely will you ever see this scorpion out and about during the day. Now you can see that they do have eyes, but they're pretty small and they are very basic. In fact, they're among the most basic eyes in the animal kingdom. So these scorpions are not really using their sense of sight to hunt. Rather, since they're nocturnal and highly fossorial, spending most of their lives underground, their sense of olfaction or kind of like their sense of smell and their sense of touch are highly refined. So you can see all these little prickly hairs sticking out around the pedipalps here, these are sensory hairs used to detect its surroundings, maybe potential predators, maybe potential prey items. Sam, what's your opinion of these scorpions? Super cool. Super cool. Nathan, what's your opinion of these scorpions? I think when you look close enough, it's, it's really cool to see how detailed they actually are. They're super detailed. Josh, wait, you're cut off. Josh, what's your opinion of these scorpions? Really cool. How cool though? Really. <laughs> now what they're doing when they do come out at night, they are hunting. These are active predators of other small invertebrates. And as scorpions, they do have a venomous sting. The Southern Devil Scorpion gets its common name because it is supposed to be devilish in nature, come after you and sting you and, and maybe even kill you. But their venom is not designed to injure humans. It is a mildly potent neurotoxic venom, which is designed to paralyze its prey items. But that venom, even though it can paralyze other invertebrates, is not medically significant to humans. So there's no reason to fear the southern devil scorpion, even though it does have a venomous sting. You can see as it literally sits here on my hand that this is not an aggressive or dangerous species. And not only that, these are pretty much ecologically irreplaceable. So like I said, they're preying on other invertebrates, keeping those populations in check, but they're also food for a huge variety of other animals. Everything from lizards and salamanders to larger arthropods will prey on devil scorpions. I think these are amazing animals. It is so cool 
that we have a scorpion here in the southeastern U.S. that so few people know about. And it seems that people who do find these scorpions, their reaction is just to squish them. But there's no reason to fear them. They're this really unique, ecologically irreplaceable animal. And it's been such a treat to see one of these scorpions up close and impersonal. Scorpions are not something I have very much experience handling because it's really difficult to find these where I live in North Carolina. So it's just cool that I get some experience working with and observing these truly remarkable little gems of the invertebrate kingdom. She's kind of a little bit poised to strike right now. She might be heating up, getting a little nervous, so we'll get her right back under her rock, but that is so cool. What an amazing encounter this has been. Here's your sneak peek at the species that will be featured in the next episode of The Wild Report. I'll see you next time, but until then, stay safe and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.